sexy and the luckiest of the lucky. It's the greatest intro we do. Las Vegas, Nevada! <laughs> moment I just want to like burst out in tears because you're incredible and I love you guys so much and we're going to like take over the world and change it and make it a better place. That's, a, that's what I see. Other people might see a crowd of people. I see like the world is now a happy place. So how are you? Are you having fun? Good. It's so good to be back here. I love you guys. So freaking much. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life and it's because of you guys. Everything you're doing. Um, just getting to work with all of you and getting to work with Random X and just like walk around doing good things. It's pretty, or not walk. <laughs> I don't really walk. <laughs> Scoot around doing good things. And then have like amazing friends who carry you out on stage even when it's really strange and awkward, and, but they make it lovely. So, so yeah, I, I, I do believe this world can be a good place. Hello. Hi, Sunshine, how are you? <laughs> good, how are you doing? And we're definitely happy to have you here. Thank you. And my question for you is, how has it, how has it been since taking your new role with Random Acts and how did that come about, and what projects would you personally like to do with R.A.? Well, uh, can I just first acknowledge that you're freaking awesome for asking that question? Not that I like to talk about random acts or anything, but no. Um, so, sorry, first part of the question is just... How has it been since you um, taken on the a role, and how has it come about? It's been incredible. I don't know how it came about. It came about by magic. Uh, some something, some kind of magic Misha had something to do with. I don't know. Um, but uh, he, do, he does, he does, he dabbles in magic. I don't know if you know. But, um, but yeah, uh, it has been the most rewarding, most wonderful, also probably hardest thing that I've ever had to do with my, uh, my days. Um, it's full time because we're working on so many things all the time. And I feel like, uh, Maybe uh, the thing I have to get better about is making sure all of you are hearing about it and know about it and that we're sharing those stories because there are just uh, amazing things happening all the time. Um, and it's a bit of like a 17 ring circus of just goodness. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of people have seen, we've been posting a lot about um, the free high school in Nicaragua which is one of my favorite things ever to witness. It's just a really beautiful project because it's not, uh, I think the problem with charity sometimes is we walk in and we tell people what they need and how they should be helped um, and then we leave and this is not one of those situations. Instead, it's born organically from the community and it's what they need and it's what they're asking for and it's all built by the community themselves and we're just saying, hey, we'll help you. And I feel like that's the, that's the thing I'm most excited about with, with Random X is that we're just looking literally, and that's what I get to do with my days, which is amazing, just scouring the world, looking for people who are doing good things and making the world better and saying, how can we help you? Um, and yeah, so uh, I, I could go on and on and give you lots of specifics because there are a lot of things that I'm like, I get super excited about. <laughs> and if you can't tell, I'm one of those people who like really does get like crazy excited about these things. Um, from the small to the large, uh, but I will keep posting, here's what I'll promise, I'll keep posting and I'll get better at putting video out and things like that. And then all, all I ask from you and what I'm really excited about is tell me how you want to be a part of it and what you're going to bring in. Because I think mostly my job is to say yes and. Um, and what I mean by that is just that there's no, there's not too much good that can be happening in the world. And I think it's, it's a, an interesting thing that a lot of people say, well, I have this idea of this like nice thing that I could do. And, but they're very tentative. 
And I'm like, no, it's awesome. So mostly my job is to, to cheer me and say, how can I help you? And that's why I'm saying to all of you guys, we can do whatever we think will make the world a better place and we can change it. So just like, tell me how I can be of help to you. And uh, so yeah, I'm rambling, but that's, that's a long and short of it is just yes and. Okay, well, thank you. And I also want to point out I'm wearing the Be the Clarence bracelet oh, from your campaign. Well, thank you for that. That makes me so happy. And just so you know, guys, too, that Be the Clarence campaign was born from you as well. And what that's saying is how valuable you all are to all of us, to everyone, to the world, to me. And I just want you to remember that all the time that uh, don't, don't just look to someone else to ever because it's in you and whatever, all that beauty and all that goodness that you see in others is in yourself and just never ever ever forget that. And that was what I wanted was for those things to be a reminder to you of that, so. I love you guys so much. And congratulations on your new position. Thank you. Thank you. As I said, you guys gave that to me, so thank you. And Misha. <laughs> Which he he represents all of us. <laughs> Hello. Yes. You are just beautiful and amazing and strong and such an inspiration. I just wanted you to know that. Um, so thank you for that. Um, like you just show people that just because you have a chronic illness doesn't mean your life stops. And thank you. that's like just an inspiration to me and a lot of people close to me. So thank you for that. Um, I do also have a question that's like totally like not related to what I just said. But, okay. Um, I, I've asked everyone this question. What scene was the most fun for you to shoot on Supernatural? Okay, well, first, I want to acknowledge the first part of that, which is just thank you for saying that. You, you don't know how much that means to me. And I don't ever want you guys to think, because sometimes it's easy to look at someone from the outside and go, oh, well, they're special, and they're inspirational, and that's awesome, and they got, they, they're like, I wish I was like that. It's not true. We're all fighting whatever battles we're fighting, and it's freaking hard. And uh, I think that we all go through points in the day where we don't know if we're gonna make it through. And we have to use everything we, we've got. We've gotta, you know, dig down deep to, pu to push through or whatever. And so uh, our job is, is to keep inspiring each other and, I, and you guys inspire me too to keep going. Because I, it makes it worthwhile if I know that by pushing through, I'm showing someone else that they can push through as well. Um, so, so thank you for saying that. Um, and then second part, favorite scene is really hard to choose because I loved every minute of working on that set. So the actual experience was just so wonderful because it's a really a, amazing group of people. Um, I loved that last episode. Um, Robbie Thompson is an incredible writer. And, uh, and I got to do so many cool things and there were so many great scenes. I really loved getting to say your little short for Stormtrooper, just from like a inside makes me happy thing. Um, because I am a true Star Wars fan in every way. Um, so, uh, so the, uh, the, the, the little girl who always wanted to be Leia, that pleased that part of me. Um, but I also loved, there were some, I loved, they, they did a lot of beautiful wrap-ups. So I loved the scene with Cass, because I love them as a couple. I think Meg and Castiel were awesome. Too. Um, and then I loved that I got that strange scene with, uh, with Jared, with Sam, I thought it was strange in that like those two characters shouldn't have that kind of nice exchange, but it was an awesome scene. It was really well written, and I loved getting to say, go save my unicorn, and I loved being a woman sacrificing herself, uh, like without a lot of show or anything like that, sacrificing herself to save the guys. I 
I dream of a day where we don't have gender labels at all. Uh, but, uh, but I also think that um, given the fact that that is in our society, we see far too much of this w woman as victim and, uh, you know, damsel in distress. And it was re really, really cool to get to be something else. So, so yeah, uh, you could basically take your pick of any of the scenes in that episode, but I love that, lo that final scene. That was, a beautiful, that was a beautiful scene. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Rachel. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Very good. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to say thank you for taking a huge step forward and, you know, trying to make a difference you know, in the world. I want to say thank you for that. <laughs> thank so, you. Yeah, so, so my question is, um, before you entered uh, Random Acts, was there a particular accomplishment that you look back on all the time that kind of gives you that determination to continue going forward? That's a really good question. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's funny actually, because before joining Random X, I had a couple years to do a lot of kind of studying and contemplation and just what do I want to leave behind in the world and what, what is really important to me versus what have I been told is important. And I, I also, I read and study a lot of history and I was studying a lot of biographies. And there's something that I noticed, which was a lot of the great people that I really admired, what they thought their accomplishment in the world was going to be, um, and they thought their, like, their moment of greatness would be, they almost never achieved. Uh, but it was all these other things they did in the meantime that really changed the world. Yeah. Um, so I've tried, I've tried to kind of reassess how I, like the metric by which I measure my great moments. And I, and I kind of laughed one day when I thought, well, I might think that all these other things are the important accomplishments, but really it was that time I smiled at a little boy on the bus that like changed the course of history. Like, we don't know. Um, so really what I try to do and um, where I'm proud of myself is if it's just in every given moment, I can be kind of selfless and thinking of the other person and leave them feeling better about their life. So rather than there being one big thing, it's like every one of those moments where I felt like, that person left, and I could see that I could see them change. I could see something in them that felt better and more alive. Then I feel like okay, there's a, a reason I'm on, in this world, and they're like it's it's a, an okay thing. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. So sorry for the long-winded answer, but yeah, that's, that's the truth. Fine. Thank you so much. That was incredible. Thanks. Hi. My question's kind of already been asked, so I'll just go with something else. Perfect! Um, <laughs> what's something, whether it's been filming or whether it's been your work with Random Acts or working with Gishwes, what's been a silly moment or something that's just made you smile for no particular reason? Just a happy moment. Oh my goodness, uh, yeah, okay, first of all, I think any of you who've like watched me for years should know that that happens a lot. <laughs> I like uh, happy moments. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, uh, one of my sources of those, like, true, like, just, I don't know why, but just, like, brings a smile to my face no matter what, is anytime I'm interacting with kids. I love kids. Um, so not everyone here knows, but, like, there was a period in my life when I was pretty young where I taught two-year-olds for a while and uh, those were some of my favorite moments and I just find like I'm not coming up with any like that many specifics but I can come up with like a string of times where it's just like even a little kid runs by and does something silly and looks at you or something in a restaurant or something like those are the moments that really I feel the truest like soul smile because I, I don't know I, I feel like um, this world is a mixed bag and, and we're kind of trying to learn our lessons but we're, you know, fumbling a bit and whatever but 
my hope is that for future generations, that's where everything will change. And I see that in kids. I see that, like, that openness and that honesty and um, the kind of unjadedness. Um, and there's something that, about that, like, just pure joy, like when a little kid runs up and... I, I don't know, like, a, just, like, flashing on images of just, like, when little kids, like, randomly run by and are like, hi, or something like that. Like, that's my happy moment. So, yeah, I, I hope that answers it. Um, hi there. Hi. Also, I'm just gonna laugh at myself for a second because I literally had, like, I'm, I, I sometimes dialogue with myself. I don't know if you guys do, but I had a moment where I was like, wow, I just answered that question as like, I believe the children are the future. And like that song started so like, like, I'm the cheesiest person ever. Anyway. Okay, so my question was on how you want MexDL to continue. Awesome. I love that, good question. Um, I don't know, in my mind, they live happily ever after at some point. Um, and I've said this at Q&A's before, but it, it really is a truth that I have this like little inner laughter where I would love to see Meg and Cass as like a married couple trying to be like normal. <laughs> Like, that would they be so bad, and it would be, like, hilarious. Like, just them trying to do, like, the normal couple things of, like, make each other breakfast or something. Like, it would just be a disaster. Um, you know, imagine them, like, trying to raise a child. <laughs> Sex would be great. <laughs> okay, good. I, I, I'm glad we, you, you thought that one through. <laughs> um, no, but anyway, that's, that's uh, my kind of imagining that somewhere in some scenario, maybe in some alternate universe, um, they did wind up together and they like, made a go of it. Because um, like, humaning is really hard. I know I'm not very good at it. Um, just that like normal pulling off being a person and whatever, it's much easier to, you know, be a demon, I don't know. Anyway, does that, would you have something that you want to add? Because I love hearing all of the theories, like that's always more fun, is hearing your stories and input. Anyway, I'll let, I'll let you off the hook this time though. Hi. Hey. First of all, I just wanted to say how much you know how much I totally love you. I, type, I tweet you all the time. <laughs> You're amazing. Right. So are you. Anyway, um, I just want to say that you never got to order pizza and move some furniture around. <laughs> there is that. But you did get to move the world around doing random acts together. Thank so you. So you kind of are married, Castiel. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. Anyway, my question is that, um, uh, what's it, Gabriel just said, um, Gabe just said that one of the rare people that got to actually drive baby, so did you. Yes. And you got to crash her. That's but right. How, how did that feel and how did the cast and crew react? Like he said they were all watching him. Were they watching you like, like crazy bird's eye too? Because you were one of the rare people that actually got to drive her too. I think it's really epic. It, but it's more epic in my imagination in that like I think actually like a stunt person did the crashing and all of those things. But I love the like, there's like a pride lioness thing of like, I got to drive baby. Um, <laughs> that, you know, just from a, a canon character point of view, I think it's pretty epic. Yes, amazing. So, yeah. And the music that plays while 